Good morning, Word Warriors. It's day 63. I'm Melissa at Safe Haven Ministries. And gosh, Word Warriors, we've got a, another good message today. It's shorter than usual, but you'll get the point. I do want to tell you this, though. I have started this at least 15 times. And it keeps messing up all the way through. I'll do something. In the last one, I fell sound asleep for three minutes. Oh, yeah. yeah I was probably drooling. I don't know. I didn't go back and look at it. I just shut it off and we started over. So you can thank me for not giving it to you. But in, in this one, and the title of this is going to be A Picture of the Old You. A Picture of the Old You. The other day, I got my tote out, one of those big totes, and, and I got it full of photographs. And I went through all these pictures, and oh my gosh, I found pictures when I was little. I found them when I was teaching school years ago, it, just all the way through. This is my very favorite. This was a recent one, and this is You Know Who, Me and Jerry. I love that picture of us, and it was taken, and I think I had the same shirt on that I had then, but... I have good memories attached to that. Some of the pictures I looked at, I don't have good memories attached to them. It was a time of my life that wasn't good. I wasn't living for the Lord, and it was not a good plan. Now, um, we're going to use our power verse of the day. is found in Ephesians 2.2, 2, and it says, Wherein, in time past, you walked according to to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that walks works in the children of disobedience today. I want you to mark some of this in your Bible. This is important because when it says, um, wherein, and I'm, your, I'm using the King James, wherein in time past, what that means is back then. Back then, and, and Paul's saying, back then when you weren't saved, when you didn't know Jesus, you walked the way you wanted to. You talked the way you wanted to. You weren't aware of a different lifestyle. You were living a lifestyle, but it wasn't the one you were created for. And he goes on and he says, he's reminding us in this of the grace of God. And how he touched our heart. And it was like God pulled photographs out of his pocket and said, Do you remember when you lived like this? Do you remember the things you used to say? The things you used to do? I wasn't a part of that part of your life. And that's what God's telling us in this. And when he says in here, he says, Paul reminds us that we, back then we walked according to the course of this world. The other day, I gave you a word, and it was patapateo, P-A, I'm sorry, peripateo, P-E-R-I-P-A-T-E-O, peripateo, pateo, sounds like a potato, doesn't it? Peripateo, and what it means is to habitually walk on the same path. I mentioned people with dementia, how they go back and around and around and around, and it's the same way with us, when we walked in this world, we walked on a path, and you know how we talk about going in circles? Well, we were pretty much going in circles when we were operating in the world and didn't even know it. We didn't even know that we were being manipulated, that we were being dominated by the world. We were stuck on a path we couldn't get off. It's like a treadmill. You just keep going over and over it again. And so um, we were dominated by the world. And I don't, think, I don't think we realize, do you know that uh, the world today, marketers spend millions and millions of dollars to figure out how to manipulate you into buying their product. And it works. They have packaging that's a certain way. They have scents that are a certain, that certain smell. They have tastes that they know which one you prefer. I mean, it's almost frightening to know how they read us, how they manipulate us over into buying something we don't even want. Have you ever gone to Walmart? I'll use them as an example. And, and you, you're in the store and you see something, you think, oh my gosh, I can't live without that. That is the cutest thing ever. And you get home with it and you think, why did I buy this? 
Why did I get home with this? What am I going to do with it? What happened? You got manipulated. Well, that happened to us while we were walking in the world. And it says you walked in the course of this world. Well, the word course here means it's a Greek word. It's A-I-O-N-A. -A. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. But it describes a specific time frame, especially like a spirit of an age. And um, I'll give you an example. It would be like... Um, uh, the Roaring Twenties. That was an age. In the 1920s, we had the Roaring Twenties. Well, what pictures do you have in your mind? Well, no prohibition. We had uh, we had the speakeasies and the dance floors and the, all that came along with it, the flappers, and that was the Roaring Twenties. And then we came into the 1960s and the 1970s, and that was an age of rebellion. It was a different age, the age of rebellion. And in this one, we see drug use was elevated. We see free free love, uh, uh, open sex was on the, on the move. We had people who were uh, angry over the Vietnam War. All took period, all, all took place during this spirit or this age. And it, he says, you are walking in the age of this world that you're in right now. And we look at it and think, well... I, I'm not sure I get that. Well, the word for world is cosmos. And it refers to, um, it's like painting a picture of the systems and the institutions of this world that rule us. Education, uh, fashion, entertainment, all of those things are pushing us towards being like these little, is it lemmings that jump off the cliff? They just jump off the cliff and they follow the one in front of them. I don't know if it's lemmings, but there are animals that'll do that. If one jumps off, they all jump off. And so he's painting this picture of people who lived without any word in them. And they just did the same thing that everybody else did. And I want to read this. I want to put it in our in our language today. That might be a little easier to understand. It says, God said, don't you remember what you were like? Well, back then, why you habitually, you, you, you did the same thing and you were trapped. You couldn't get on off track, but you didn't even know it. Totally unaware of what was happening. And you went by the fluctuating whims of society. And the trends of society. We would call that today politically correct. And, and, I, and I want you to know, our world is about as stable as jello. Up, up and down, up and down. And what's hot today will not be tomorrow, I can tell you. Uh, it's like if you painted your house gray two, three years ago and have white countertops, mm, passe, you're done. Now you've got to do something with orange in it. That's the big color now is the trend of orange. You can wear yourself out and spend all your money just trying to keep up with the Joneses and the things of the world. This is who you were, but it's not who you are today. You're not tied to the things of this world. You're tied to Jesus Christ. And what he has for you is a plan and a purpose, but it has nothing to do with what you came out of. See, we have to break free of the world because if you don't break free from the world, you will always go back to the things you did before. Always. Like a dog returns to its vomit. You won't stay with Jesus Christ. And he put, he, he redeemed us, sanctified us, changed us into his image. And think for a moment, there's still people out there that don't know Jesus. And they're looking for someone who's not caught up in the tide of having to do what everybody else does. And they do that because they want to be accepted. It goes back to people pleasing. We need to be thankful for who we are. Let's pray. Father, thank you so much for who you are and what you're doing in our life. And thank you that we're not the people we used to be, Lord. Your sin, it's just send people, Lord, into the lives of those that don't know better. Help us be the ones that take the message that we're not tied to this world anymore. We belong to Jesus. 
in your precious name. Amen. God bless you. Thank heaven I got through that. <laughs>